I got a very important question for y'all. Also, what's up, guys? I got a pencil here. But I got a very important question for y'all. Because me and my friends have been having this discussion pretty much since the Infinity Stones were introduced. And we knew all of them. So we're six bad boys. You got the Time Stone. You got the Power Stone. You got the Space Stone. You got the Soul Stone. You got the Mind Stone. You got the Reality Stone. Which one are you taking? Which one are you? Because I'm going to lay out my case for each. I'm going to tell you which one I would take personally. Right? So let's start out with the, with the fan favorite. The, te the Time Stone. You have complete control over time. You can accelerate it. You can rewind it. You can create infinite time loops. You could possibly survey a whole bunch of different futures and a whole bunch of cool stuff like that. I right? pretty darn cool. Pretty solid. Stop time, freeze time, do whatever you want. You can make you can literally run every scenario possible, literally, not just in your head, and then undo it because you're just that guy. Okay? Time soon. Pretty darn solid. I'll admit. I'll I'll give it its credit. I'll give it its do I'll do it its do good. Or it's good do. It's it's worth the half effort. It's worth the hassle. I like it. Good work. It stopped the Dormammu. Great thing. Great thing. Power Stone. You get swole. Unbelievably swole. Like swole beyond belief. Like honestly, you probably could give the Hulk a run for your money even if you're like two foot tall. You got the Power Stone in you. You can throw some hands. You can mox and duck. You can bob and weave. And you're pretty darn good. Also, you're pretty much indestructible. These things happen. Alright, you know. You get, you get punched in the face of the Power Stone. You look at your opponent like, what'd you do? Yeah, they ain't got enough power, so they ain't getting your stone. As simple as that. We ain't going to talk about what Ronin did. Ronin, Ronin's a failure, but the thing is the power stone's powerful. Can wipe out and decimate entire planets. Whole thing, gone. Just tap it to the floor, bada bing, bada boom, whole planet's gone. Impressive, amazing, I like it. Even though, maybe not as useful. Imagine what you could do. Real life, you become a boxer. You become a legendary construction worker. You can do whatever you want with that. World record weightlifting champion because a little crystal you got around your neck. You're just that guy. All the money, all the record deals, everything. Why record deals? Why did I say record deals? What record deals are you going to give the Power Stone? But like legitimately, Power Stone, you're just very, very strong. You can do things that no other person can do, and that's great. It's a, it's a, it's a practical stone, right? Time Stone, very theoretical. You're going to have to do some leaps. You got to hope you don't mess up any timelines. You got to do a whole ton of bunch of stuff with the Time Stone. You got to think about it. Meanwhile, the Power Stone, it's simple. You just go do whatever you want to do. Easy as that. You're indestructible. You're super strong. Just don't touch the planet too hard, okay? You may destroy it. Then, Space Stone. Complete dominion over space itself. That's pretty darn good. You can probably make some stars. can manipulate gravity. You can teleport anywhere in the entire universe. You have a full comprehension of the whole universe. And you have complete spatial awareness. You can teleport other things anywhere and everywhere. Open portals left and right. You control everything across a three-dimensional plane. You're just that guy. Um, unfortunately, hopefully no one wants to fight you. Because if they aren't careful, they're ending up on Mars. And I'm talking without Elon Musk. They're just done, son. Like, it's simple as that. You got the space stone. You're kind of indestructible. As long as you can react. As long as you're quick enough. As long as you can boo, bah, dodge and weave. Bob and weave. Or simply look at your opponent, they're done. Because space stone. Big things. You could probably even heal yourself with it. Like if you think about it in a certain way, you could rearrange the space within you so that you were never damaged in the first place. Sure, that would take some high level thought. That's almost, that's on some time stone stuff. Like that's some, that's something you could you're gonna need to think about that. You're gonna need to work with that. You can't just do that off rip. You're gonna have to experiment and you may end up hurting yourself. But hey, we all got time to heal. Space stone, super solid. I respect it. Soul Stone, you manipulate souls. Easy as that. What does that do for you? You get the powers, you get the abilities, you take someone's soul out, you shut them down. I don't know. The Soul Stone's kind of whack. <laughs> no, like, actually, Soul Stone is something that, like, cutting back to me and my friends, like, we, I don't think out of any of the people I've talked to, anyone's ever picked Soul Stone because, it's like, especially in the MCU, it's kind of vague what it does because it shows up for such a short period of time. But, like, I guess control over life and death, that's the most basic thing of it. Like, you can bring things back to life. You can restore the souls of objects, and you can erase the souls of objects. So, if you're in Bleach, you're going wild. But in terms of, like, our real reality, I mean, like, you could you could become Kira if you really feel like it. Like, I don't, I don't really see the practical use of this stone, if I'm being completely honest with you. It's, like... I'm, I'm, unless, unless, you, I'll, unless you're that guy and you feel like being violent, who knows? Maybe you can alter souls? Like, if you're on some Mahito pipe beat, like, if, you, if you're going to treat it like Mahito does in JJK, you could do some crazy stuff with manipulating souls, but I'm not sure if it works that way. So, uh, you know, 
Be like that when it be like that sometimes. But then you got the mind stone. You in everybody's skull. You in anyone's brain space. That's when you get to walking. Because the thing with the mind stone is that you can kind of you can kind of get the effects of the other stones just without like it's weird to say without the complications. Because with the mind stone, all you really need to do is read people's minds and possibly even influence what they want to say and what they want to do because by controlling someone's mind or even just slightly affecting it you can essentially guide conversations your way without having to redo them the time stone is an issue because you have to work with it like repeatedly like you essentially every single interaction becomes a telltale game where you just keep resetting if you don't get the response you want you just keep switching it over and over again it's like a visual novel that's what life essentially becomes meanwhile with the mind stone you essentially become the author of your own visual novel in the, our social world because you get to rewrite the minds of people you could hypothetically wipe the minds of people you can erase memories from people's heads you could take control of people like it's a it's a it's a people <laughs> it's weird to say but it's a people stone right like you aren't going to be doing anything like Insane. Like you're going to be teleporting across the universe. You aren't invincible and indestructible and can lift a trillion pounds and stuff like that. You aren't stopping, altering and rewriting timelines and stuff like that. And you aren't, I don't know, like aliving and unaliving things at your leisure. But at least in terms of like humans being social creatures, if you have the Mind Stone, you basically get like full... I, is it weird to say full cerebral control? Not full cerebral control. That's a, that's weird. Uh, I, you get you essentially get to make interactions as you want them. You don't like the way someone's talking to you, mind wipe them. Nah, I'm kidding. But you don't like the way someone's talking to them, you could either directly, you could kind of like be nice with it. Could be a little smooth way, you know, hit that woo on. Nah, I'm kidding. But you could be nice with it and be like, hey, I'm going to influence your mind so you don't think that way anymore. Or B, you could literally just alter their brain. Like just take control it's the mind stone bro just go go wild that's the only thing though you may want to be careful with the mind stone because that could get out of hand quickly especially if you don't know how to like undo it like say you make a change to somebody but you don't like that change and how it works out i'm not I'm, maybe you could just hit undo on the mind stone but i feel like that's a little bit a little bit complicated however mind stone super solid as long as you use it right you can get anything you want with the mind stone the only thing is no even then like if you're in a like need to be defensive scenario if someone's trying to harm you mind wipe them they're dropped instantly they might as well they might as well have gotten hit with the soul stone if you mind wipe somebody hard enough like if you straight cease all cognitive function in their head they're just dropping and you could likely do that to whole swaths of people just by looking at them so mind stone pretty darn snap finally we got the reality stone just do everything else the others do like oh you can't control time, make yourself be able to control time. You can alter reality. Oh, you aren't the strongest being on the planet and not super durable? Make yourself the strongest being on the planet and not super dur and super durable. If you got the reality stone. Oh, you want to be able to traverse through space? Give yourself the ability to fly and teleport and do all the stuff you can do with the space stone. You got the reality stone. Reality can literally be whatever you want it to be. Quoting a certain mad titan. You want to be able to read minds give yourself the ability to read my like you don't like the way the world functions you don't like world hunger you don't like all this other extra stuff manipulate it so manipulate the world so it's twice as big everything's refreshed so there's no more global warming and bada bing bada boom you you can the reality stone is essentially the you get out what you put in because with the reality stone it can be as low level as oh i want to turn this bottle cap into a cheeseburger and you can turn it into a cheeseburger and you're good or you could be like, I'm going to triple the size of, of this planet because we're running out of space. And then you triple the size of the planet because you're running out of space. Like, you can go kind of crazy with the reality stone. And those are like the six stones laid out. So I'll be real with you. Like I said, the fan favorite is the time stone. Everybody and their mother that I know wants the time stone. And if I had to like rank them without like ranking them in terms of like what i think is the most practical time stone's kind of up there it's a high maintenance stone though like that's the that's the only issue you have to be careful with it especially if like mcu stuff is to be believed and like every little change in time like alters something like if you're messing around with the time stone a bit too much within the native universe you're probably causing problems on a scale that you probably don't want hands with being completely honest with you but we're going in our world I mean, I'm not sure if we operate on multiverse theory, so I mean, string theory, what is that? So maybe you could possibly just get away with it. Like, no one's gonna, <laughs> who's, who, who gonna stop you? Like, that's the thing. So you, time stone, pretty high up there. 
Power Stone. I'd say on a practical level, sure, you're going to have to work a little harder, but uh, the Power Stone is kind of snapped. Like, I know everyone clowns on it for being, like, the most basic, non-interesting stone, but you can do whatever you want. Become a football player. Who's going to tackle you down? Become the strongest man in the world by a million times over. Who's going to stop you? Become a become any sort of you could literally be a one man army like no one's gonna stop you could literally don't even need weaponry you can just walk through your tank everything you're perfectly safe at all times you, you're just that guy like you could go do boxing MMA like you could literally try a different sport every week any sport that requires more physical strength than technical skill you are fine with the only issue I will give the power stone is that unless you can like automatically regulate yourself you will break stuff a lot but i'd say breaking stuff a lot is kind of worth it especially if you can figure out how to regulate it so i'd say the power stone's up there too the space stone i feel like the space stone see like the space stone is shockingly at least for me towards like i'd say the bottom half of the list and it's only like notably i would love personally me and a friend i talked to we would love to be able to like traverse the entire universe and like be able to do that just fine and notably with the space stone i'm assuming you could like give yourself some sort of spatial immunities like if you were to travel to another planet i'm assuming you could like take a piece of earth's atmosphere with you like a bubble and just be perfectly fine as you discover and explore other worlds but the thing is the space stone doesn't necessarily like like the power stone inherently amps you with the power stone you are just untouchable that dude the time stone as long as you can act it, like the thing is with space stone and time stone they're like uh, they're both high maintenance in the sense that you have to activate them and if you mess up with one of them who knows what could happen time stone oops, time stone is more dependent on what <laughs> the time stone is more dependent on like if you believe in multiverse theory or not or string theory and stuff like that and if there's a like tva function in our real world that would get you in trouble but other than that you could also accidentally just wipe the timeline, erase time. Like you, you could jack up a lot of things. But to be fair, the same thing is with the Power Stone. You could accidentally destroy the planet. So I'd say the Space Stone is something similar. Where like if you forget that bubble one time and you try to teleport to another world, say you open a, a hole, like a portal in space, you just create a link to a vacuum. Like popping out wormholes isn't all it's cracked up to be. You're gonna mess up sometimes, and those mess ups could end up killing you because you don't have any of like the security like notably with the time stone if you mess up like say you go try to go backwards in time but you forget to like wrap everything backwards in time so you like get thrown off the planet you could like undo that as long as you have the cognitive perception to do it quick enough with the space stone if you like open up a portal to a vacuum without earth's atmosphere around you you may just freeze to death and die and there's nothing you can really do about that like it's 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 risky and notably, as cool as traveling in other planets would be, what are you really going to do with that? Like, on the human scale, you could become rich because, like, you actually know you could actually work pretty well with the space zone on the human scale. Because as long as you, like, go pick whatever government you want to work with and be like, hey, we need to figure out something about, like, maybe colonizing other planets. Me, I can take us anywhere. I can take whatever amount of resources we need to go. Everything, just follow me. Like, you could make that work. You could become, like, the inter... You could literally become the intergalactic... Which is gonna sound bad, but intergalactic colonizer. Where you, like, literally take humans all throughout the galaxy. But, eh, I don't know. It, for, for me, at least, it wasn't worth it. In comparison to what I could do with some of the other stones. Or, like, just how convenient they would be. And speaking of convenience, another stone that I say is up there. Mind stone. Mind stone's pretty snap. Like, if, if only for the fact that while you may have some mess ups like accidentally control alt the leading people and not being able to like hit control z to revert them back the ability to manipulate the mind in a in a society that's so based around interaction with other people with minds is it's kind it's kind of snap like on the low low and my on the low low i mean on the high high you you are kind of top dog because in a way, you could literally alter the entire mindscape so that no one ever wants to challenge you. No one will ever have as animosity towards you. You could manipulate people freely and they wouldn't even know. Like that the mind stone works as long as you make it work. And to be fair, like with a power stone, you could accidentally destroy the planet. 
thing, these things happen. With the Time Stone, you could accidentally screw the timeline over. These things happen. With the Space Stone, you could accidentally open a vortex or make a black hole by accident, and you're destroying the planet. None of those things are good. But meanwhile, with the Mind Stone, worst comes to worst, I mean, you may mind wipe somebody, but I don't think you're going to like, you may not, you, it could be possible, but I don't think you may accidentally wipe consciousness from people. Like that would take a very specific input. Like the thing is you, you drop those, you put those barbells down a little bit too hard with the power stone and the whole planet gets leveled. Meanwhile, you like wake up one morning and be like, oh, I forgot to do something. And like, you may forget to do it or like someone may forget to do something but i don't think the repercussions of the mind stone aren't as bad which sounds bad but like that's one of the main things then i like soul stones just fall at the bottom of the list like being completely real with you like there's at least in my mind there's no reason to take the soul stone over anything else because like what do you do with it like i mean controlling life and death is cool right and honestly you see that's the thing i would like it if you couldn't fix the problems in the other ways, right? Because, like, you can lend out energy from the Power Stone to other people. And as long as people have power, they'll keep functioning. You could say you really want an older family member to stay alive. Go up to them and be like, hey, rewind. And just, just take them back to a younger state and they'll be perfectly fine. You can reverse any ailments they have. Space Stone? I don't know, they're just kind of screwed by either way, whether they pick the Soul Stone or the Space Stone. But, Reality Stone, you're good. Mind Stone, once again, you can't necessarily do much with it. But, like, Soul Stone, the, the unaliving and realiving stuff, it's cool, but, like, nothing to the level. Like, that won't benefit you unless you become, like, I don't know, like, unless you turn into Hit from Dragon Ball Super. Like, you, unless you become something that you probably don't want to become. I don't see the use of the Soul Stone for anybody. But, like I said, no, no one's ever argued Soul Stone for me. Like, at least outside of, like, a pure combat scenario, the Soul Stone kind of does nothing for you. Because, like, unless you're kind of constantly going around unaliving and realiving people, you, you gotta you gotta just don't, you don't get much. And you will obviously always want more. Um, but then, we're left with the Reality Stone. So if I had, if I had to say, i say Reality Stone is an easy favor for me. Just because, like... It's literally, you can make reality whatever you want it to be. You can fundamentally alter yourself. You can fundamentally alter the world. You can fundamentally alter physics itself. Like, you can do whatever you want. That's why reality is my pick. Like, spoilers, if you couldn't tell already, I'm very, I'm very, like, mm, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm juicy reality. Like, I love it. Just because of how much one can do it. Like, you can just go nuts. And, of course, you could accidentally be like, man, I... I just really don't want to do this today and maybe like accidentally wipe out reality, but then you can just undo it. Oh, I'm the person with the power stones, the strongest person on the planet. Make me as strong as them. Power stone does it. And like, to be fair, maybe if you aren't careful, you could Grammy yourself. <laughs> That's the only issue. And for those who, who know what I'm talking about. You, you you could very easily Grammy yourself if you're not careful. But like that's why first thing with reality stone is make me indestructible. Make me a mute. Make me do all like do like do all this stuff. Like to essentially ensure my longevity and lifespan. And then I'm going to go around and fix every problem in the world. Cause I can. Oh, there's not enough food? Make more food. Out of grains of sand for all I care. Planet ain't big enough? Make the planet bigger. Because I can. I wonder if the Space Stone can let you do that. Can you make more? Can you make more physical matter with the Space Stone? I'm not sure. I don't think you can do it with the power. Like, Space Stone is the only thing that I can think of. Like, you could maybe possibly physically make more or something. Because I know Thanos makes a black hole in the movies. But, like, regardless, with the Reality Stone, I can pretty much do whatever the other stones can. Like, sure, I will have to fundamentally alter myself. Like, I won't automatically be able to, like, manipulate time. unless. And the thing is, say, like, me and all other stone users exist within the same area. Or at least I consciously know all other stone users exist. Like, there's someone out there messing with time. There's someone out there messing with power. Like, every other stone in existence 
while all those like the only stone that could hypothetically like catch me and stop me before i do something drastic would be the mind stone because i'm assuming the mind stone would give you like total awareness of all minds and i'm my mind would definitely be like i control reality i control reality time to throw the moon like I, i'll admit i i would probably throw titan somewhere else just to see if i could do it but in reality <laughs> like I'm, I'm instantly shutting off all other stone control like I, I don't want you controlling other aspects of reality because I don't know you and what will you do like no offense to my mind stone user out there but I'm trying to get mine white <laughs> like essentially that, that's not that's not my prerogative I'm not sure about y'all maybe I'll into that but not, not me I try to get mine white I am not trying to like can you imagine like you have another stone and the time stone user like pulls up on you is like oh finally I found you hey and you're like what who, who who are i i angered some time lords and they're coming for us and i need your like i would not want that to happen so i'm shutting off the time stone immediately i'm shutting off the mind stone because i don't want to wake up to half the planet mind wipe because someone said man i wish people would just stop thinking and then bada bing bada boom people stop thinking i wouldn't want to wake up everyone like being unalived and real alive with the soul stone because bad <laughs> like i like there's so many things that i with the reality stone could do to not only like hard overwrite the other stones but essentially like make them nigh on irrelevant c compared to me right because like why do i want the power stone if i can make myself the strongest person alive why would i want the time stone if i can make myself to be able to control time why would i want the soul stone if i can make myself control souls why would i want <laughs> why would i want the mind stone if i can make myself control minds why do i want the space stone if i can make myself control space like i can do whatever i reality can be whatever i want it to be that's why malekith was about to dark covered nine universe like as much as i don't like thor the dark world because i think it's a boring movie that really showcased what the reality stone can do and i don't think malekith was using that bad boy properly give it to me give it to me i'm gonna I'm do some work that's why it's my number one number two i'd say is a solid like if, if i'm being real number two is definitely most likely it's a it's a hard tie though it's really a hard tie for, well for, for because it's a fan favorite and because you could do a lot with it like on a macro and micro scale i will give it to the time stone even though being real with you i think mind stone could hypothetically be more useful on the micro scale and that micro scale is a lot more useful to the planet at large or at least useful to you so but i'll i'll give i'll give the time stone number two because you know manipulating timelines pretty darn good stuff i'll then probably give what's more important power or mind i'd say i say mind stone because notably with the power stone you still will have to work a bit meanwhile with the mind stone you can just mentally alter people to fund money into your bank account and then make everyone think that that's perfectly okay like you could have all the billionaires just be like hey here's my routing number here's my bank put all your money in there or if, if you if you want to be nice just put like 10 percent of your wealth in there and then you get all that you get that 10 percent of their assets and you're selling the richest person on the planet and you can do that and no one would question you because you have the mind stone so i'd say if, if you're on like, if you're on your dictator type beat mind stone because you can just do whatever you want on a on a human scale then i'd probably say power because here's the thing like you have to work with power because you got drive and you devour but other than that like it's not much work it's not complicated and also it's like outside of the reality stone the only stone where you are like a hundred percent physically safe like you, nothing can harm you automatically just because you're too strong to be like i don't think any weapon on earth in our modern day would be able to harm a power stone user you could drop a whole bunch of suns on one power stone user and they'll be perfectly fine in my mind meanwhile if you catch a time stone user lacking they'll just die you catch a space stone user lacking they'll just die you catch a soul stone user lacking they may be able to realive themselves in that split second but like they're likely to just die same thing with the mind stone like I, I, that's what but you could give yourself more security meanwhile with the power you know what i'm, I'm gonna be a <sighs> off sheer ease of use i'd actually put the power stone at number one i know this is gonna sound wild i know i'm changing my opinion but like on a sheer ease of use level and automatic safety, I'd say Power Stone's pretty much number one because 
on 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 base level at the highest levels i'd say you probably would want to like mess around and experiment with your like your time stones your reality stones your space stones but on in terms of like simple fresh day second one of getting the stones power stone is really really good like we can't we can't keep sleeping on power stone as much as i cloud on the power stone and then whenever i have these discussions with my friends we can't necessarily sleep on it and then of course you have jeez because i already like if, if i'm going with like the top like top tier end of the line everything list my reality is number one for everyone else i'll put time number two then mind then power then i'll have to say space like once again space can be useful i'm not saying space can't be extremely 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 useful i just say it's less useful than you think like does that does that make sense to y'all like it's is like while traveling the universe is cool i think it comes with too many drawbacks and not enough safety or not drawbacks necessarily it just doesn't do enough for you as a human being while every other stone above it you can literally just live a lavish life um <laughs> And you should be fair, you could do it with the space stone too, but it'd be more difficult. And then finally, soul stone. It just it doesn't do enough in my mind. And then, hold on, let me let me just I'm on the wiki right now. I'm staring at it. I might as well check what the soul stone does. Let me see. Let me see. Control F Soul Stone. Soul Stone. There are 24 soul stones on the Marvel Cinematic Universe page. By the way, I am referring to the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the most part. But yeah, let's let's just go with that. Um, let's see, let's see, what are the abilities of it, though? That's all I really care about. Where are the abilities? Hold on, I'm gonna pause. Yeah, I don't know, like, even the wiki doesn't have anything that the Soul Stone does. Because I think it literally just unalives and real lives you. I don't... Doesn't seem like, doesn't seem like anything valuable. At least in my mind. So Soul Stone's at the bottom. <laughs> wow, I usually put power at the bottom, but I think this discussion, like, actually kind of opened my eyes a little bit. So, yeah, I had to say... At your max tier rankings, like if you're being super duper creative, ah, oh, but then I, I re micro versus macro. I would honestly like if I'm if I'm being real. Okay, my personal list, like removing all time stone bias. I know everyone else has. As a human being, concerned for yourself and possibly even other human beings, at the max level, I would put. Reality stone is still on top because not only can you help yourself make yourself indestructible and give yourself all the powers of the other stones, but you can also help the general populace by, you know, fixing every last problem there is. And then I'd probably like this is this is like if you're being greedy and personal, you probably want to go with mind because you literally just bend the entire world to your will. Then you probably want to go with power i know it's going to be a weird take but power you're completely indestructible you're safe on that front you're the strongest person alive and you can make do you can do whatever you want essentially you can fist fight sharks on youtube like who's gonna stop you um then then i put time because you know time stuff and like all the stuff i went to like time is so high maintenance that's the only thing with it and then space and then soul that's my list so which one i would take easy reality but if i had to take a quick second since i like to be real i don't really feel like controlling people i would just rather be immune to people so i'd actually probably like my number one would be reality but my backup would be power now that i thought about it but those are that's my list those are my thoughts please some of your thoughts in the comment section down below i don't know this is fun i did not expect this video to be geez i've been talking way too long i did not expect this video to go on for this long but i was like now that i've actually been thinking about it yo it's kind of spicy, but don't, yo, tell me your list, tell me your thoughts, tell me what your beliefs are. If I'm wrong about stuff, don't be afraid to correct me. I know I probably checked up a whole ton of stuff. Please tell me in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Back on the Pencil, writing off.